In this work, we present LELAN, a method for learning language condition navigation policies from In the Wild video. Our method can leverage In the Wild videos with a wide variety of objects across various environments to train a generalized control policy. This policy can navigate various robots in novel scenes to novel objects. Our method not only works on robot navigation data, but also real-world videos from YouTube and first-person video captured with a handheld camera used while walking through different indoor and outdoor settings. This is because our data augmentation method works with action-free data. First, we feed these videos into the Segment Anything model and choose a random object to crop based on the output segmentations. We use an open source VLM to identify the object in the cropped image. By feeding these object descriptions to GPT 3.5 Turbo, we filter out noisy descriptions with low confidence levels and generate diverse prompts. Since we need access to spatial information to train our policy, we estimate the 3D point cloud via monocular depth estimation network and predict the object pose by cropping the point cloud with the object mask from the segment anything model. By leveraging a robot foundation model, a model trained with behavior cloning on diverse expert robot trajectories, we can generate a sequence of robot actions with collision avoidant behavior. This trajectory will provide supervision for training our object navigation policy. We apply our data augmentation approach on 100 hours of YouTube video from all over the world in addition to a smaller robot data set. YouTube videos allow us to scale annotation to diverse environments captured by many types of cameras with many types of objects to learn generalized performance. During training, we randomly select target objects and corresponding prompts from our augmented data set. By feeding the image observations and prompt into our policy, we can generate a sequence of velocity commands that, gener that navigate the robot to the target object. Then, we estimate the predicted sequence of virtual robot poses via differentiable kinematics model. To train our policy, we calculate an objective that consists of the mean squared error between the estimated target object pose and virtual robot pose for object reaching, the mean squared error between the robot actions from the foundation model and the virtual robot poses for collision avoidance. In addition, we penalize any discontinuities in the velocity commands to encourage smooth motion. We then train our policy to minimize the total objective via backpropagation. During inference, we provide a language instruction to the policy, which outputs a sequence of linear and angular velocity commands. Just like in model predictive control, we only use the first velocity command of each multi-step prediction. We conduct real-world experiments with objects and environments, which are not included in the training data. We mainly test our method in an office building, a house, the outdoors, and a cafe area on a university campus. Our method enables the robot to move towards a target object and reach its position with high precision relative to the state-of-the-art methods. Even though the robot data in our training set is limited to an office building environment, our method works outdoors and in homes. This is because our augmentations can handle diverse in the wild video, which makes our policy more robust. In these videos, we show our method navigating to the same object, but with four different prompts. Each prompt is shown in the top left corner of each video. Our policy navigates the robot towards the same target object, even though some prompts lack detail or include wrong adjectives. The robot successfully arrives at the target object in all cases. In this video, we show navigation performance with obstacles. We place an obstacle between the initial robot location and the target object position. Our trained policy can avoid collisions and navigate the robot towards the target object. This is another example. By distilling the collision avoidant behavior from the foundation model into our policy, we can successfully avoid obstacles. Since we train our policy on action-free, in-the-wild, diverse video, our policy has strong cross-embodiment performance. Our method can work on a quadruped robot. Our policy can also work with various types of cameras at various camera heights. As another challenging task, we evaluate our method on following dynamic objects. In this prompt, we ask the robot to go to the person wearing an orange jacket. 
a few other people not wearing orange jackets also walk around the environment. Our method clearly distinguishes the target person amongst others and navigates towards them. Each of these challenging scenes contain multiple objects. Nonetheless, our method can navigate the robot towards the correct target object specified by the input prompt. We conduct over 1,000 navigation trials in various environments to quantitatively evaluate our methods. Our method trained with the full augmented dataset outperforms all baselines, as well as our method trained only on robot data. Last, we show Leland's ability to extend to long distance navigation. By leveraging topological memory, Leland is now able to navigate to target objects that are far away and could not be seen at the initial robot position.